In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be sharing with you a, an emergency upload trick that you need to know about in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my channel before, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen because we upload four videos a day that are designed to help you with some type of tangible tactic, trick, um, meta, whatever you want to call it. We just do tips and tricks here uh, and that's why the channel is called Madden 21 Tips and Tricks. So welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, what I wanted to do today, this is just honestly, it's just an emergency upload. I saw this in the community. I did not discover this by any means. Um, I was listening to a conversation with Gut Fox and I think G Maya, and somehow this came up, and, and, and I might have been another conversation I was listening to today. But anyway, I was playing Weekend League and just listening to some, some stuff, and I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, specific ability that Jalen Ramsey has. You see here, it's bench press. It says press wins, fatigue the receivers. So if you guys don't know about this, the you know, I've said this from the beginning, man. Abilities dominate the game. When, pe the when people figure out how to leverage abilities and really understand what the abilities really do, um, it's going to start to make a big difference. You've probably even watched one of my streams, and we're going to be streaming uh, every night at 10 o'clock Eastern time, too, uh, to, to let you know. So if you guys want to click the notification icon, you can catch me playing Madden Live. And I don't do this because I think this is going to get patched. Um, personally, I might start if it doesn't get patched because it's kind of like a must have. I think I was watching Noah play and he was playing in, uh, in, in just a, um, he was, he was playing in like a, um, a, a tournament and he was dealing with this. And so I'm just going to show you. And I think I was looking around to see if anyone else has got stuff on this. And there's plenty of people that have already posted this, but I just wanted to share this with my community just so that you can be aware of this and that we're working on a counter for it as well. But um, Michael Thomas is probably the, one of the better receivers in head-to-head, -head, at least in my opinion. Tyreek Hill is really good, um, but I think Michael Thomas has really good – you know, beat press and, and, and really good abilities more for route running specifically that he's going to be able to get open consistently. Jalen Ramsey's ability bench press. Here's what it does. It costs, um, it costs one ability point. Okay. Now, you know that from play, if you guys play mutt, you get 10 of these. So you can put, you can put all of your corner. You can give this to all your corners. If in theory, you could give this to every coverage player on your defense. Literally, every coverage player on your defense could get this. Or you could pair this with another ability. But it costs you one ability point per player to do this. And basically, um, um, basically what it what it does is it fatigues your receiver. And, and we're going to show this to you here in just a second. Um, I'm going to need to go ahead and uh, super sim or whatever to the next to the next point of the game to show you this. But literally what happens, and I've this has happened to me too, um, what, what happens is you literally, there's nothing you can really do about it. Um, there's a couple of things you can do about it. Um, but nothing that's really nice. <laughs> nothing that's really like good. You know what I mean? Um, so you'll see here. So if I come out and shotgun and, and we're just going to run whatever, right? You're going to see. And I might need, uh, you know what? I'm just going to grab two controllers here while I'm doing this. But this is, this is just crazy to me, like crazy. So we're just going to, we'll, we'll be the Rams on defense. So this is what happens. Let me, let me call a timeout. Basically, every time that Jalen Ramsey wins a press animation, which would be, I mean, it's, which would be fairly common, right? It's, it's fairly common. Now there's some things you can do about it. There's some things you can do about it. Um, and we'll be talking about this uh, and I'll show you this. So this is from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. So um, I talk a lot about why cross. I also talk a lot about stick and there's a significant difference in the two routes. So we'll look at, uh, we'll look at why cross here early here and you'll see that this is what a um, old school fade is. So if I've got Jalen Ramsey here, just come out on nickel and we'll just come down and cover two man. You'll see that on the right side of the screen, you'll see, watch, Smith is going to get pressed. Watch. You see him light up? See his X-Factor ability light up over and over again? He lights up and he swats the ball down. Now, when I come back to the huddle, uh, crap, we'll call the timeout. Whenever I come back to the huddle, you're going to see that Smith's fatigue, his energy, is going to be significantly down. And to, sh to show this even better, let me put Michael Thomas over here. 
doesn't matter who but just to just to show this really really good and then i'm going to throw the sale uh, route okay so all he's going to have to do is come out and dime cover to press and then all he has to do is press coverage that's literally all he has to do okay i don't even think you have to press coverage necessarily but we're going to go to sale and what you're going to see here is thomas is on the stock fade the old school fade right the fade that is in my opinion the best way to do it right so he's going to go you see see he's lighting up right there on the left side and we can complete the ball right here to, to, to smith if he could catch he obviously can't but now look what happens look at michael thomas you see how he's yellow he he is being fatigued the only way you can do anything about it is you just cycle through your players until you start until you come out that's going to help with the stamina a little bit but it's not going to help with it enough to really make a huge difference so then you're going to come back out and you're going to run your plays whatever your play may be right but if if michael thomas gets hit with this ability he's going to fatigue and it it doesn't take it's like it's literally like two maybe three plays for him to act for him to to be on the bench right so you come back to the huddle and now you see look michael thomas is completely out of the game he's nowhere to be found so now what you got to do as an offensive player is you got to call timeout because he's your best wide receiver, right? And in Mutt, you can do this at scale because you can put it on everybody. Now you see Thomas comes back in with a timeout, and he's got limited ability. So the only way that I know around this is to run a play like Stick where Thomas is on a streak that will not get pressed. You'll see here, Ramsey's going to press, and normally if he does press, Thomas is going to win. The only way it works is if Ramsey's press actually beats if, if it actually controls him. So now you'll see at the snap, now Michael Thomas is still at the same energy level, okay? This is, you know, this is a very, very uh, introductory level to this tip, but you can do, if you're playing Mutt and you're running and you're you're drinking the Kool-Aid, running a lot of man-to-man, -man, you can run this and literally destroy people um, because literally you'll fatigue their receivers. You'll just fatigue them over and over and over again. So the trick is now, and this is where the meta is going to flip. How do you beat press man-to-man -man coverage, right? How do you beat press man-to-man -man coverage? That's going to be the question everybody's going to be asking. Because if you can be if you can beat press man-to-man -man coverage, it doesn't matter what they do. Because every time they do this, every time they do this little trick, it's not going to matter. Because you could run, you could be pressing me all you want, but if you if I have a number one, if I have an unbumpable route. As you see right here, we're getting destroyed by the press man. But if I have an unbumpable route that you can't press, all of a sudden, now I've got a little bit of an advantage. Okay? Now I've got a little bit of an advantage. So in my opinion, you know, that's just something you have to consider as you're putting your offenses together. That's part of why, you know, and this is another, you know, just another uh, thing. Number one, too, if you've got good, you know, at the end of the day, if you've got good receivers that can get off the press, what you can do is you can run these stock fades from our Y cross play. And what you'll see is if they press, you can pop this little streak over here to trick on Swift. Once he gets off the edge there, you could hit those routes, right? Or you could hit this little check down. But you see, that's not even Michael Thomas. So just a lot of challenges here. I, I have a feeling this is going to be patched, but I just wanted to get this out there in case you guys didn't know about it. And I wanted to get the conversation started. What do you guys do? Um, what have you guys been seeing? I think personally, the best thing you're going to be able to do is to work the unbumpable routes, right? Work on bumpable routes. Because, and, that, and that's always been the way to beat man to man. But the way to beat cover two man this year to me, what they're going to have to do by doing this, this is just my personal opinion, and um, this is just my personal opinion. What they're going to have to do to run a defense like this is they're going to have to leave the deep blue safeties. Because if they don't leave the deep blue safeties, you're going to be able to consistently hit them over the top. So they have to leave the deep blue safeties, and then they're going to have to drop maybe Kaiser. What this is going to open up as far as windows of opportunity for your offense, you're going to be able to run these motion slants quite a bit. So these motion slants to me are going to be even more important than they already are 
for beating the man-to-man -man meta. So anyways, guys, just want to do this emergency upload. If you guys didn't know about this, I wanted to share this. This is something I've been facing in weekend league a little bit. Want to get the conversation going as well as a, how would you stop this? Let me know in the comments. If you have a Madden 21 question, you can text that to me. My cell phone number is 812 216-3644. Also, be sure to join the Discord. We can bring this conversation into the Discord and get some uh, conversation going as a, as a community around this topic. So, anyways, guys, I think it's probably the most overpowered abil ability ever that they've ever put into the game. There's truly not a counter for it um, from an ability standpoint yet. The primary counter for it, at least from what I know, is to run a bumpable routes. Um, and I don't really want to waste ability points countering this stupid thing. So let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Again, I'm not saying I'm doing this. I'm not saying you should do this. I'm just saying this is in the game. And I think that we have to, as a community, figure out how to stop it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Jump in the Discord. There's a link to do that in the description of this video.